How's it going? Um, we're going to get started. Uh, first Recording question will come from Jim Conner. Hi, Jason. Uh, a big win there tonight. And I suppose as a, as an organisation, the Clippers, you were getting better and better as the summer league was coming on. How important was it to produce that performance there tonight and get the victory to go with that performance? Uh, you know, a win, a win is always huge. You know, that's something that we definitely wanted to do, especially after starting down um, 03. But I think a lot of guys just getting comfortable uh, in their roles and what they got to do each game. So... It was definitely good to get a win. Okay, we'll move over to Mason. Hey, Jason. Um, uh, Coach Castleberry talked about how last game about how in the first two games he kind of took it upon himself. He said it was kind of his fault that he didn't put you in the positions to succeed, running you pick and roll more and giving you a chance to handle the ball. H how do you feel like he's – uh, shifted his approach with you in the last two games, and also how has your approach changed? I mean, that's coach just being a good guy, you know, taking the blame for things. But honestly, like, even when I was getting my ball screens and stuff, I just wasn't being aggressive, and I wasn't looking to get downhill. So uh, I really, really locked in on watching film these past these past two games. You know, just wanted to make sure that I can get downhill, and then it could open up a lot of my uh, playmaking abilities. We'll move over to Christos. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name. Oh, Christos, it's right. Thank you. Hello, Jason. Great game, first of all. From day one in the Summer League until now, what did you see as your biggest growth and how you live this process in Vegas? Um, you know, I think it's just getting better each day, uh, getting comfortable with the guys, knowing my teammates, knowing when to make what reads. And, you know, I mean... It's, it's, it's just growing your, your confidence each day. Um, and I'm very glad, you know, I got my teammates and coaching staff behind me to keep telling me to be aggressive. Okay, we'll go over to Law. First of all, Jason, uh, happy belated birthday to you. Um, uh, thank you. I'm, I was thinking Tuesday would have been a better, I'm, I'm sure you would have wanted that to be a better game, but now you've really come out since Tuesday. Y'all had the two days off. Uh, Y'all had the game Friday night, a close one, and, and a win today. And it, you've talked about being a, more assertive and everything. But where do you feel like you have gotten more comfortable with just being assertive in communication with the team? Like, how, how have you been able to kind of identify things and kind of put those guys in place in, on that front? Yeah, I've just been talking to them a lot more. And, you know, like, that's basketball, like, uh, first game, we we were just like we had two practices thrown together, and then we were playing the game. But like I, you know, as you keep playing with players, you, you you realize people's tendencies, you know what they want to do, and you get more comfortable with them. So I think it's, it's honestly it's just uh, better chemistry with, with all of my teammates and the coaching staff, and and knowing where guys are going to be in, in the half court. I, I'm really interested in how you're getting your passes off. I mean, you had. You had one pass uh, for Amir's fifth three where you left your feet. And I know you got in trouble leaving your feet later in the game, but you left your feet one hand, found him in the opposite wing. And I mean, those are, those are passes. Not everybody makes those passes. Like how, how have you gotten to, to develop that ability? Uh, Cause it's, again, it's not everybody has that ability to just make those kinds of passes or those kinds of looks and read. Um, Growing up, I watched a lot and a lot of LeBron James, like a lot. And obviously, I'm not his height, size, weight, athleticism or anything, but just the passes you can make out of ball screen. And then, you know, once you leave your feet, you know, you're always taught to, you know, not jump. But it can give you certain angles that you can't get when you're on the ground. So I've watched tons and tons of film of LeBron doing it. And then just over the years doing it myself, I just gotten used to it. All right. Thanks, Jason. That's all I have for you, man. Thank you. All right.